damn i didn't think i would cough as soon as i started the camera but what's going on y'all what's goody que lo que what's popping what's popping all that jazz so i'm gonna be folding clothes and just talking about life because why not it's been a minute and i know it's been a minute is this even on wow it wasn't even on so yeah i have so many clean clothes on top of my bed that i need to get folded okay one the fear of being seen being perceived being known i want to say i've for most of my life been sort of like a ambivert like extroverted introverted like i love my personal space i love being alone but the idea of being on social media kind of gives this off perfect or it gives the perception that you just have to like not care and be who you are and like be so unapologetically yourself that you just share with the world and another thing of like being perceived for me has always been that I like my privacy and I love my personal space, my own, you know, my own little world. But I also love documenting. So those two things hand in hand kind of contradict themselves. But at the end of the day, like, I know this is what I'm meant to be doing because I'm doing it like. If I wasn't doing it, I just wouldn't be doing it. Like, it wouldn't be a thought in my brain if I wasn't supposed to be doing it. You know what I mean? Like, if I really wasn't supposed to be, like, just filming or, like, sharing my thoughts or, like, being the person that I am, then I wouldn't be this person. So, let's get that out the way, Ambar. And that's honestly, like, a constant conversation that I'm having with myself. I wanted to really do a draw in my life. If I don't know if y'all remember those videos. And I still will probably do it, but I don't know if y'all remember those videos, but I used to watch them videos religiously. Like, that used to be my favorite video to watch. But, yeah, I was born in Santo Domingo, República Dominicana, Sabana Perdida, born and raised. And I moved to Maryland, the DMV, when I was about seven, eight years old. And my life completely shifted, changed. Like, if I hadn't, if my mother hadn't moved us to the DMV Maryland like I probably wouldn't even I wouldn't be here right now like I know that for a fact like I would not know English I would not be at USC oh, shit I don't even know if I'd be dancing like let's be so for real all of your life's decisions have led us to this specific moment right now and there is nothing but right now like me folding these clothes in this specific moment is all that I can see hear smell touch like this is real right now i'm real right now in this moment and the fact that in this day and age of this society we're able to document the present moment is such a gift like why not use that as the gift that it's been given to us that sentence did not make sense and y'all will learn in due time that sometimes i just say stuff and sometimes it don't make sense, but in my brain it makes sense. So if it made sense to you, then we like this. We locked in. Porque ahora mismo es todo lo que importa. Este momento es todo lo que importa. So yeah, um, I was just sitting on the toilet and I was thinking about destiny. The work that it takes for you to reach your destiny. And... Not running away because of fear. Not running away because of expectations of other people. Like, this is my life. And I get to live it however I choose. This is my life. Like, this is my... This is for me to live, for me to enjoy, and for me to prosper. For me to, like, reach my highest heights. So, yeah. I'm still thinking about something else, but I can't think of it right now. Cause I was gonna talk about something specific, y'all, but like, no sé, ahora me, no me recuerdo. <sighs> oh, okay, okay. I found it, I found it, I found it. Can y'all see me? I was thinking about 
the way that we speak out into the world and how that manifests into our reality. I was raised by very spiritual women. My mother and my grandmother always loved to do retreats. Like all they talked about was like psychology. My grandmother studied studied psychology in college. Um, I think she got her degree in psychology and she has all these books about like the brain and like that's all like that's all she would talk about and like astrology like that when I was growing up like that's what she would teach my brother and I and she always spoke about how what we think and what we say out loud manifests into our realities she would always stress to always like talk about yourself in the highest form like always say that you're rich and you're abundant that I am I am I am like I am abundant I am rich I am powerful I am divine I am spiritually aligned I am constantly evolving I am I am I am I am in the most positive light because that in end changes the way in which your brain thinks and then changes the way in which you present like what you present out into the world and what you're being like illuminates so I found myself recently just noticing and I've always kind of noticed this because I grew up with this mindset just the fact of how people kind of always and it might be truth in that moment but also like sometimes you really gotta like fake it to make it like if you're always saying you're this this or that like oh, I'm unattractive, oh, I ain't got no money, oh, I la 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 then you're kind of always, like, manifesting that into your life. Like, you're stuck sort of in that mindset, in that way of living. And then there's, like, how do you get out of that if that's what you're constantly projecting out into the world? You know what I mean? So I feel like it's just so, it's so critical and, like, literally pivotal for your life to always serenity leave me y'all serenity wants to say hi obviously what was i saying i think it's so pivotal that you literally always speak about yourself in the highest manner in the highest term like in your biggest dream like you're already in that reality because also what I did before the semester started I like I think it was like one of the powerful super moons or like the most powerful super moon of the year and I wrote down in my journal who I envision myself to be in the next eight months like where do I see myself where am I living where's my state of mind um what am I doing in that um during that time like like where do I see myself basically and then I started to like write or jot down the habits that my highest self like has but I just realized like once school started there was just like obviously there's this shift because now you're like responsible for all this work because you have your classes like there's so much going on I'm also graduating and I just have to constantly keep reminding myself and keep myself accountable for my own well-being, my own, like, habits. And honestly, I feel like documenting also keeps me accountable. In a way, showcases my, who I am as a human being, because I'm not always going to be perfect little Miss Ambad who's, like, always got her shit together, because nobody's ever that, like... We live this life as human beings. We're in this human experience. We're in this body, having this human experience to go to the lows and the highs, to experience life to its fullest, to love, to nourish. For me, life is about experiencing all aspects of life. Like, there's not just one aspect that I value over another. I feel like every every part of being a human is valuable and, like, meaningful so yeah that's kind of like where my head is at around that y'all I've learned so much at this school like I've grown so much I've grown into myself I've grown into the person I am 
So, yeah, I've been talking for 18 minutes. I'm going to keep talking, so subscribe. So, yeah. I don't have no intro, no outro, none of that. We'll get there, okay? From now, we're just going to start with we're just going to start with bits and pieces. And then we're going to build up and y'all going to be part of the journey, so y'all going to build up with me. So, stick around. I love y'all down. Nos vemos en el próximo video.